On this International Women's Day, Fitchburg is honoring a woman who has continued opening doors since leaving the city as the first black mayor in the state of Wisconsin back in the 1990s. Frances Huntley Cooper has had a long storied career since then, and today Fitchburg renamed its council chambers after her. Arman Rahman reports. And with that, Frances Huntley Cooper's impact was forever ingrained in Fitchburg. I can't imagine this community without Frances Huntley Cooper. But one thing still remains at the front of her mind. I hope that this opens, continues to keep the doors open to support people of color. She started opening those doors as Wisconsin's first black mayor up until only last year when Milwaukee's mayor was elected. I didn't know when I ran. I wasn't thinking about the first female or the first black mayor. I wanted to do a good job because that's the way I was raised. My grandmother said, you know, if you don't do it, if you know, you need to be able to do a job well, I don't do it at all. It seemed good job is an understatement based on remarks from state leaders like Governor Evers. Your efforts uh, and involvement over the years have been instrumental in making our state a more just, inclusive, and equitable place for all, that all of us call home. Hundley Cooper's accomplishments include being chair of the Madison Area Technical College Board, president of Madison's NAACP branch, and even a delegate for President Barack Obama during the 2008 Democratic National Convention. This is history. And as it is history, it's a living history. And it needs to be articulated, especially to our youth. And it's the future generation that she hopes her legacy lives on through. And you can't give up and you can't let other people deter you from reaching your goal. The plaque declaring the room the uh, Francis Huntley Cooper Common Council Chambers was donated by Tempo of the Madison Foundation, which Huntley Cooper served as president on from 2001 to 2002.